Have you ever found yourself wishing that you had just a few more USB outlets in your Tesla Model 3 or Model Y? Have you ever found yourself thinking that the light that's down in that center console area is not quite bright enough and you can't see stuff? Well, I've got a potential solution that you might want to look into. Hey there, welcome to MI Tesla Guy. All things Tesla from an everyday guy in Michigan. I currently have a USB hub in my Model 3 Standard Range Plus, maybe a company named Jetta or Jada, and I've been really happy with it. it. Appears to be pretty well built, and I really haven't had any problems with it. So there's a Tesla accessory company named Joa, and they reached out to me, asked if I wanted to take a look at some of the products that they had. One of the things I made abundantly clear in my conversations with them, gotta be objective, they said they had no problem with it. They stand behind their product. I am totally free to editorialize as I see fit. So they sent me their USB hub with LED light. This is gonna be kind of neat because I already have one and I feel the one that I have is very well put together. This one looks much, much smaller than the one that's in there and it seems to work a little bit better. One of the things I will tell you that I'm excited to see on this is that it does have an LED light built into it. Standard Range Plus, the partial premium interior, lacks some speakers and it lacks some interior lighting too. And I tend to find it is really dark in that center console, even when it's pretty light outside. So and we'll open it up and take a look. Um, I do want to point out that they have made a generous offer of a special discount code for those of you who watch this video. If you decide you want to get this, you can at least get a little something off. I will share more about that later and I will include information on that down in the description as well as a link to this product on their website. So you can see this is kind of the, the layout of it. It's kind of neat because I need labels <laughs> to know what I'm dealing with. I did order the carbon fiber one. They have several different ways you can order it, but uh, if you've seen the inside of my car, I've got a carbon fiber wrap over the piano black uh, in my car. We've got uh, a control for the light on, off, or auto. You've got USB-A, and then you've got a micro SD card reader, and then you've got two USB-Cs. This is much smaller than the, the Jada. And there's the back of it. Uh, let's get it out there. Let's get it installed in the car and then see how it compares. All right, now we are in the car and I have got the USB hub with me. Let me show you what I got right now. Right now, and I'll put a link to this in the description below, I've got the Jada USB hub. And as I mentioned, I have been very happy with that. It's got three USB-A and then two USB-C. And you got this little trap door I guess we'll call it and I've got my SSD plugged into the USB it's got a USB a thing there so I got a USB a to USB C and you can see Tesla sentry mode that's where I keep my sentry mode if you look at the Joa one it's a much more slimline solution it does not have that kind of a trap door thing and because again I have the pre refresh model I've got a USB a and USB C and it's just gonna kind of plug in there I'll show you here in a second the Jada one it takes up it is a tight fit, man. So let's see a size comparison here. That gives you an idea. So we'll bring it down in here, kind of line it up. Hard to see, of course, because I'm blocking my light. Let me bring that light up here. For me, there's never a dull moment when I'm trying to install stuff. So one comment I'll make is I think lining up the Jada one is easier. As tight as the fit is, it's 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 made to fit this entire area right here from the ledge all the way up. So I just, um, I'm sorry. Get this. There we go. All right, we are in. We are in. First test is going to be this. Let's put it on auto. Oh, very cool. Yeah, it worked. Take a look, you got a light there. I don't know how light it's gonna be. Well, that's not bad. I mean, I can see it from here. So let me plug in my wireless charging pad here. Close this and let's just check real quick. All right, let's see. I'm in there. Yeah, okay, so we got the symbol, it's charging. So let's now plug in the sentry mode one and see how that works. You know, I mean, it's just gonna dangle there. It's gonna be down there with everything else. In this USB-A right here, for sure, it it works. Okay, so it just saved one. Let's try the first, or the farthest right one. This one way over here. We'll give it a second just to see if it comes up. And it does. So I plug it in the first USB-A, and yeah, we're back. Okay, you can plug it into any of these three. 
USB-A slots for your sentry mode and it will work. I'm gonna put it at the farthest one, kind of tuck it in there on that side. All right, so I'm gonna use this for a little while and give you my thoughts. I really don't wanna give you my thoughts just based on this short, brief experience. And then I will circle back with you on final thoughts. Well, I have been using the Joa USB hub and our Model 3 Standard Range Plus for about six months now. You may have noticed that in most of the footage I was wearing a sweater and now I'm wearing short sleeve shirt. That's because it was winter when I recorded most of that, but I wanted to make sure that I tested it out and used it, you know, just daily driving and everything like that. And now that we've got our Model Y Performance, my wife is driving the Model 3. That gives me an opportunity to see where it two people think about it, using it in day-to-day -day driving. And really what it comes down to is there's not a ton that you use the USB hub for, which leads to the ultimate question of what do we actually think about it? I'm gonna let you know, but first real quick, if you remember, I mentioned earlier on that Joa had extended what I think is a nice offer. And that is if anybody uses the special discount code down below here, MI Tesla, that will get you 5% off anything you order from them, not just this USB hub. So you might as well take advantage of that. Okay, let's go over the final thoughts then. What are the pros? The main pro for me is the light. I do really like having a light down there, especially on a standard range plus that doesn't have terribly good lighting in the console to begin with. The light is very nice. It seems to do a good job of coming on. We've kept it on the auto setting and it seems to do a nice job of coming on when we need it. I'm also a big fan of the look. I really like that carbon fiber look. And of course, I'm comparing this against the Jada one that I already had in the car, and that was plastic. Nothing particularly good or bad about the fact it was plastic, but it was just plastic. So as far as the look goes, I do really like the look. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, who cares what it looks like, Mike? It's in the center console. <laughs> How often are you looking at it? To you, I would say valid point but I do like the look, so I'm pointing that out as a pro. I do also like that it's got the built-in micro SD slot. Now for the cons, or the things that I don't like, again, as compared to the Jada Hub. This Joa Hub does not appear to me to be quite as well built. That doesn't mean it's not well built, or that I think it's gonna fall apart or anything like that, but the plastic just appears to be a cheaper plastic. Now, I am no plastics material engineer or anything like that. I don't really know for sure, but the Jada one is pretty thick plastic and you, you, you can feel it. Now, of course, once you install it, I mean, does it matter? I don't really think so. It's not in a high impact area or anything like that, but I did wanna point that out because I would say that is uh, one of the things that I noticed as, as a con as compared to the Jada Hub. And of course, is the fact that it does not have a secure compartment to store my SSD hard drive for my Sentry mode and dash cam footage. Now, that may not matter to you. Maybe you don't even use an SSD hard drive for that. It is admittedly overkill, but the reason I use it actually is not just for the amount of storage. It is for how fast it is and how it's meant to read, write, quite a bit and to do so quickly. As you saw, the Jada Hub has kind of a little compartment that that SSD can kind of tuck into and connect to, and the Joel One does not. Will that provide a ton of protection over the Joel One? I don't know, again, I guess it depends on how much you're in and out of that console. It's been just hanging there, like you saw in the video already, just kind of dangling from the USB, and it's been six months, haven't had any problems. It's still handling the sentry mode and the dash cam stuff just fine. So I don't know that it actually becomes a problem, but I do want to mention to you if that is something that matters to you. What is the ultimate verdict? The ultimate verdict is I like it. And I'm keeping the Jada one because uh, I do like it. But the one that is staying in our car for right now is the Joa Hub. Again, it really came down to the light. It really did. If the Jada one had a light, I probably would have actually installed that one back into the car because I do like how the SSD tucks into that little compartment. It just doesn't have a light and I do like having a light down there. Maybe that's petty of me, I don't know, but uh, that is what my final verdict is. Now, I have a little bit of a bonus for those who stayed all the way to the end of this video and that is two of the things that I did purchase from Joa are the USB hub and the center console organizer for our Model Y Performance. Now the Model Y Performance we have, of course, is the refreshed interior and this USB hub is pretty slick. It fits in there and then your USB 
ports end up being uh, vertical. They end up being on the top. So you can go ahead and you can just plug in from the top. This one also has a light as well, which is really cool. And what I like and why I ordered them together, both the center console tray and the USB hub, is the center console tray just kind of snugs right up to it. It has a little cutout so the USB hub fits right in there and then it slides back and forth to give you access to the under storage bin storage that's under there. This, hands down, absolutely, I have found no con to this combination. So although I had some cons or things I didn't like as much with the hub in our pre-refresh Model 3, if you have a refresh Model 3 or Model Y, I'd be all over this USB hub and organizer combination. I just wanted to throw that in real quick. It's kind of a little bonus mini 30 second review on some other products of theirs. I do hope you enjoy this. Hope you got some value of it. If you did, please throw me a thumbs up down below. Uh, I'd love to know your thoughts about these products or competing products. If you drop me a comment down below, I'd love to hear from your experience and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.